If you're somebody who grew up in the late 80s and or through the early to mid 90s, then the infamous McDonald's Halloween pails were undoubtedly part of your childhood experience. Whether you were an avid Happy Meal kid or someone who simply didn't grow up eating Happy Meals, you surely remember seeing these things around school, seeing those awesome commercials, and so on. These things were absolutely a part of the Halloween pop culture of that era. We couldn't really afford to eat McDonald's on a regular basis when we were kids, but we were lucky enough to have a grandma that not only understood my passion for Halloween, even as a young kid, but embraced it, seeing to it that I was well stocked in the colorful plastic buckets every other year or so when the new ones would come out, a childhood collection that I am so thankful to, for the most part, still have. Check them out. These are the actual childhood McDonald's pails that thankfully never got thrown in the trash or given away or anything like that. Probably because they stayed at my grandparents' house over the years and not at the 13 plus places I moved around to as a kid. So thank God for that. I obviously lost every lid for these things, but at least I have the main part of the buckets. So no complaints from my end. I can always buy some mint condition ones off eBay or something down the road and really complete the collection, so to speak. But these are always going to be the nostalgic kick for me since these are the actual ones from way back when. Anyways, I want to run through the history of the McDonald's Halloween pails and sort of inform and clear up any confusion about which designs came out during which year, etc. Shall we? I think we shall. Let's begin. 1986 the first year of the infamous pumpkin pails, McGoblin, McBoo, and McPunkin. Not the three usual designs we'd later come to expect, but nonetheless the designs that started it all. These things were so popular that year that they were actually reused again the following year, to tremendous fanfare. I was too young when this initial era began to own any of these directly, seeing as how I was inside a belly during Halloween 86 and only eight months old for Halloween 87. So my nostalgia for these three guys is pretty much non-existent, but I do need to own them at some point. eBay for the win, am I right? Moving on. 1988 was a peculiar year because the pumpkin buckets simply didn't return, which is strange in retrospect considering how popular they were those first two seasons. But they did return in 1989 with a completely new look, showcasing the three individual creature designs that would pretty much become the standard going forward. No longer exclusively jack-o'-lanterns, but now a jack-o'-lantern, a ghost, and a witch. 1989 was a cool year for these things, if I do say so myself, and was also my introduction to the world of McDonald's Halloween pails. I have very vague memories of this year and these buckets specifically, and my current collection actually doesn't have any of the pails from this season, unfortunately. But I have extremely brief flashes of memory regarding these designs, especially the very primitive Olive Green Witch. I was two at the time, so I wasn't really into burgers yet, obviously, but chicken nuggets would have obviously been my bag at the time. So the memory I have of sitting on a bench outside of a Kmart, eating chicken nuggets out of the witch bucket, while my mom called someone on the payphone next to me, must be an actual memory, right? Right? Moving on. 1990 is really the season that holds the most amount of childhood nostalgia for me regarding these buckets. I was three years old, soon to be four, and the slight redesign of the pails for that season really blew my mind. The pumpkin looked more classic than the previous years, the ghost, although its design remained the same, now glowed in the dark, and the witch was now more of a highlighter green color versus the olive color of the previous season, boasting a slightly more complex design as well. I love, love, loved this year for those Halloween pails. I mean, there's something so absolutely 90s Halloween about them specifically. Perhaps because it was the first pails to come out of that decade? I don't know. But I do know that they were absolutely awesome. I feel like the witch was really hard to find that year too. Like I remember kids in school having the witch and seeing kids around town with the witch, and I usually ended up with a ghost of the pumpkin for whatever reason. I did finally end up getting the witch that season, but I'm pretty sure I really just got one. Insane. Moving on. 1991 was another weird year where McDonald's simply didn't do the buckets, but instead these weird plastic bags that had different Halloween creatures on them. 
I obviously wasn't too into these things as a kid, because I didn't hold on to any of them like I did the pails themselves. But I do vividly remember owning one or two of the Frankenstein designs. Matter of fact, that might be the only design I remember owning. Maybe I went light on those Happy Meals that season when visiting Nana's house, huh? Interesting. Moving on. 1992 saw the triumphant return of the pumpkin, ghost, and witch pails. Again, with an all-new redesign that just rocked everybody's socks off, man. I mean, these things were awesome. Updated designs that were less simple than the previous iterations. Perhaps not as charming, but definitely more ambitious regarding the overall designs and facial expressions of the characters themselves. And this time featured cookie cutter lids, which you could literally remove and use to make sugar cookies with. Which we never did it because we just never did, I guess. Maybe it's because we lost the lids before that. I mean, who really knows? But anyways, more ambitious designs nonetheless. And an all-new take on our favorite classic Halloween buckets. A very detailed witch, a jolly ghost waving his hands, and a very happy, very classic jack-o'-lantern. What a great season for these things. Moving on to 1994. Because 1993 featured no Halloween buckets whatsoever. Again. It's like McDonald's started skipping every other year for whatever reason. But anyways, 1994's trio of Halloween pails once again featured the recurring witch, pumpkin, and ghost designs. But this really felt like a push by McDonald's to make this season's designs more... hip. Or cool, I guess you could say. Like, these three designs feel the most popcorn, pop culture out of any of the designs that came before. Not that this was a bad thing, because like the previous years, I loved these designs too. The pumpkin retained the most simple design, but boasted a goofier expression. The ghost had sort of a confused expression and was surrounded by an entire scene featuring other ghosts. And the witch, who probably had the most extreme redesign, featured a snarled and almost angry expression versus her usual smile, and was this time a dark purple color versus the usual green. All very cool, all of them very nostalgic, but definitely the most mainstream of that era, if that makes any sense. This, for better or for worse, sort of marks the end of my experience with the infamous Halloween Pails. Not only because they would go on hiatus again until 1999, but when they finally did return that year, they weren't the same thing anymore, featuring the classic faces or anything like that, but instead were simply scenes of McDonald's characters trick-or-treating, there were Scooby-Doo ones, there were some Charlie Brown ones, there were some build-your-own-faces ones way down the road, but besides my little brother getting one or two in 1999 and beyond, my direct experience with them was 100% concluded with 1994's Buckets, which was also the year the original era of McDonald's Halloween Pails came to an end. Because whatever you want to call these sporadic attempts from 1999 through 2016, here and there, they just weren't the same kind of thing at all. With that said, here's to some good memories, some great nostalgia, and a pretty cool era for McDonald's Halloween that ran from 1986 through 1994. An era that will, seemingly, never return. Would be cool if it did, though. I know my toddler would get a kick out of these things if she got chicken nuggets and a witch pail one day in the drive-thru, and I'd be all for it. So McDonald's, if you're listening, please bring back the Happy Halloween lunch pails. Specifically, the witch, the ghost, and the pumpkin. They don't have to be the same designs, but at least continue the lineage that ceased to exist beyond 1994. I think I can speak for an entire generation of 80s and 90s kids that will gladly shell out our hard-earned cash for some plastic witches, pumpkins, and ghosts filled with chicken nuggets, fries, and burgers. Burgers.